Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me here today at Rewritten Vintage Homestead for Side Dish Sunday. And I'm really excited about this one because uh, we're going to have a uh, barbecue later on this afternoon. And I have been searching for a wonderful, unique side dish that you don't see all the time, but would go so good with barbecue. And who knows better than Famous Dave? I love Famous Dave's cornbread. <laughs> now, if you want a more economical version of this salad, you can use the Jiffy Mix or you can use homemade, whatever you would like. But I kind of want this to be a little special. I'm having a family over for a barbecue. So I'm going to use my favorite Famous Dave's. This is a 15 ounce box, but that's not going to be big enough. So I'm going to double it. So if you guys try this with the Famous Dave's mix, then you only want to use one box if it's just your small family. But if you're taking it to a gathering, you're going to want two. So I have two boxes of the Famous Dave's cornbread mix, and I'm just going to follow the directions on the box. I'm going to add, uh, if you were using one box, you'd use one third cup milk. I'm going to use two thirds. And if you were following the uh, one box recipe, you would use one third cup of water. Since I'm doubling it, I'm going to use two thirds. And I'm going to put this here just to make sure I'm level. Yep, a little high. I'm going to add two eggs since I doubled it. And keep your eggshells for your compost. Or your chickens. There we go, that's better. And you don't use a mixer, you just take your fork and it may take you a few minutes, but you're just gonna mix it all up. Okay, so after we get this mixed up, we're gonna put it in the pan. So I've got it all mixed up. Don't forget to take your spatula and go around the outside too. And this is cornbread, so you don't have to beat it to death like you do a cake mix. Just get it mixed up nicely. So if you were using this for one box of Famous Dave's cornbread mix, you would use an 8 by 8 pan. I'm going to double that. I've already sprayed it with pan. And now I'm adding my cornbread mix. If you were doing one box, you would bake it at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. I'm just going to keep an eye on mine, and when I put a fork in it and it's done, it's done. There we go. Now, you guys remember, you always want to shake it and let it sit for just a few minutes. To get everything mixing up good in there, it gets the baking soda, the baking powder, all the spices uh, mixed together well, and it'll actually rise somewhat higher if you just let it sit for a few minutes before you put it in the oven. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to put it in the oven and just keep testing it at 400 degrees. So it ended up that even though I doubled this cornbread recipe, I still only had to bake it. For 30 minutes at 400 degrees and now I'm taking it and I'm cutting it into cubes so you want to go around the outside as well so that it's easy to get out of the pan And you want your cubes to be maybe two inches. Okay. 
What's nice about this is you do everything in one pan. Okay, so on top of our cornbread, this is where the fun starts. I'm gonna add a layer of red and green peppers. And I did put them on a paper towel and let them soak up some moisture before I put it on this salad. And now that the garden's producing, I have an abundance of peppers. So there we go. After you have a layer of red and green peppers, you're gonna add some corn. I also uh, put this on paper towels and let it drain real well. It's like a seven layer salad, but it's on cornbread. Yum, yum. Now to give it like a Mexican flavor, I'm going to add some pinto beans. These have been drained. Cutting up your vegetables and getting your, your layers together is what takes the longest. So you might make your cornbread the night before and then add everything afterwards. And then on top of the pinto beans, I'm gonna add some right out of the garden red tomatoes that have been diced. Mmm. I drain these in the colander. before I put them on the salad. So now we're gonna make the topping. So we're gonna take one cup of ranch dressing And we're gonna mix that with a cup of sour cream. You can use the light if that's what you prefer. Just mix until it's well blended. That smells good. Now we're going to dollop that on the top of our salad here. This would be fun for a um, Mexican party, Cinco de Mayo, for tacos. Uh, any kind of Mexican food, this is a great salad to have with it. Um, and if you want to make it, give it more of a Mexican taste, you can add some salsa to your um, topping here, like a half a cup of salsa. And this is a fun salad to make this time of year because a lot of the stuff that I included, I got from my garden. Spread that all over the top. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But we're not done. Now that we have that spread and even all over, and it looks fabulous. We're gonna add some shredded cheddar cheese to the top. 
Everything tastes better with cheese. This would be really pretty in a truffle bowl, truffle um, plate or bowl if you have one, so that you can actually see the, the uh, different layers. And I'm going to use all this cheese because I love cheese. But we're not done yet. And on top of the cheese, we're going to add some uh, chopped up green onions. <laughs> Just keeps getting better and better. And then the final topping is going to be chopped up bacon. You can use the uh, pre-made bacon bits if you'd like. Isn't this pretty? And oh my gosh, it's got everything in it. So when you dig it up from the bottom, you have that honey tasting cornbread that's so moist and sweet. You have all the vegetables, you have the tanginess of the ranch dressing and sour cream. And like I said, you could add salsa with it if you like. And who doesn't love bacon? I've never met anybody yet that doesn't like bacon, but I'm sure someone will say, I don't like it. So you can skip that step if you want to. Now I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator until my guests come. And isn't that beautiful? And really the, the chopping takes the most time. Your cornbread you can make the night before. Chop your vegetables the next day and then add your layers. And it is delicious. This is so good. You get the sweetness of the cornbread and the yummy uh, sour cream and ranch dressing and all these fresh vegetables. You guys are going to love it. Give it a try. And don't skimp on the cornbread either. If it's going to be a, uh, for a dinner, a special event, get the good stuff. Have a great week, guys.